Hello Scorpio, thank you guys so much for coming to this reading. It is for the sign of Scorpio from the period starting January 17th for one week. And this reading is with these cowrie shells. They are very um, good at um, showing me the future when I divine with them. I've been using them since I was a child. I connect really well with them. Um, so this is for you, Scorpio. Okay, I'm gonna do three throws. I basically throw the shells on the table uh, three times, separate times, and then I will see what I can pick up from that. Then I will do three more throws for yes or no questions, okay? You have to think about the question. It has to be yes or no question, and then um, answer. Uh, I will give you the answer um, as soon as I receive it from Spirit. So this is your first throw. Now, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> there's a lot going on here, and it's in a positive way. Okay, now, things are moving forward for you, Scorpio. This is a very powerful Scorpio energy, though, that I'm getting. And you have worked hard for the success and recognition that you are about to receive. Things are moving forward very swiftly. What you expected to go slow will go fast. Okay, and I think that you need to prepare, be prepared for this. When you speak to people, Scorpio, the things you say are just so sweet. They come out of your mouth like bits of gold. And I think that you're, you've got a big heart, okay? And I think just like the water, you are generous and you are accommodating as well. You really tolerate people and you really have this gift of changing people's energy from one with a little bit negativity to very positive and forward movements. It could be that you are working in healing or that you do readings here or uh, or you're working with healing people or anything to do with bettering people really, but specifically this psychic connection that I'm feeling with one of, one Scorpio here or a few who are watching the reading who are concerned with healing. Um, you could even have a gift that you're not aware of or maybe that you still are developing and it's going to bloom beautifully. Now you do have, if, if you're wondering whether you need to, you should start helping people with your gift, please do. This is, you're getting an okay from Spirit here, a big yes for you going forward with regards to the, doing this kind of work. Okay, now I am seeing here that whoever comes in contact with you is blessed. If you are a Scorpio or you have a Scorpio in your chart and you're watching this reading, just know that you are blessed, divinely blessed. Also quite business-minding and you really do know how to talk to people to get what you want and it's very sweet and healing for them. You have a way of humbling people when they talk to you, they feel calm and secure and safe and they can actually give you their trust. And moving forward then, you improve their situation and in turn, you are rewarded from the universe. So if your name, there's a very strong letter K that I'm picking up on here. Um, there is also a J letter, but the K is very strong. Um, and if you have a K in your name, first or second names, uh, divine feminine or divine masculine, it doesn't matter. You are a star, okay? Then the K can be in the middle of the name or, or first name or second name, like anywhere in the first second names. If it's the initial, then that's good, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, so please go forward, go ahead with your um, talent because I am really <laughs> here. They are showing me like a Scorpio that's like super amazing, okay? And, and you don't even know it, okay? Or maybe you know it and you've been keeping it on the DL, <laughs> the down low, baby. So you are extremely gifted anyway, this person that I am picking up on. So use your gift because um, or whatever you know what to do, your knowledge that you have, um, because it's going to take you places, it's going to take you higher, and you're going to feel a lot more stable because of it. Let's see the second throw. 
then for you, Scorpio. Okay, see that's the money coming in. Now, I am feeling here the energy of prayer. Someone has been praying or manifesting. Um, you do have support. There are friends around you who are giving you a lot of support. Your prayers have been answered and you are getting some form of wish fulfillment. If, there's, if there is someone on your mind specific that you are thinking of, they are thinking of you too. Um, and I just feel that in a romantic sense, within two days to two weeks time, maximum two months, there is someone who's going to come forward, who's going to make you really happy. If it is someone that you know already, then well and good, because I am seeing someone trying to fix something, um, a divine masculine trying to fix something. Um, maybe someone has slipped up mm -mm, <laughs> or done something, I don't know. <laughs> but there's a situation here and I'm picking up on it very strongly. You do have the number two, so that's why I said two weeks, two months. So it could be two as well, could be, and three are significant for you. Uh, they could be in your birthday, they could be in the birthday of the person you know, um, and in an address, in an, you know, uh, however you can connect it, okay? Um, could be something also on the second, maybe something happened on the second, um, or around that date, and then things are going to get back on track now here for you. The letters that I'm picking up on this one are M, a very strong M for mother. Um, and then there is a Y as well. Yeah, this is a Y letter. And when you write this Y, you write the Y in a very interesting way, very beautiful way. It's kind of like you kind of swerve it in the paper like that, you know, it's very cool and suave. <laughs> Like all of you are Scorpio, you know, Scorpio, you are beautiful. Don't, please don't worry. Love is on your mind, but also so is divine presence and intercedence. Um, there is intervention on your behalf and things are going to be fabulous during this week. On some day, probably it's one of the days with the T's in them, Tuesday, Thursday or Saturday. And you are getting news that will just make you feel like you want to fly in a good way. Fly happy, fly out, fly of happiness. Like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> flap, flap, flap. Yeah, you'll be in cloud number nine. So remember to ground yourself. They're saying, the spirits are saying, try and keep it together because it's good news and it's coming to you. Okay, so cool. Congratulations. Whoever this was for, congratulations. It is worth a congratulation. So something is coming in. Okay, let's see about the uh, third throw for you guys. I'm just listening to spirits. Sorry. Bear with me one second. Sometimes they won't. A different shell or something else. Okay. All right. Right. This is a Scorpio who has their eye on someone. Um, but you're not sure about that person. That person is very beautiful. Or you could be beautiful. I think both of you are. But the thing is, there is a Scorpio here watching this reading who has their eye on someone. Um, and um, you feel that you are going to do well with this person on all levels. Not just in love, but maybe in work, um, in finance. Uh, maybe this person has um, is established or you are... You're going to be able to help them out or maybe you feel that you you are able to help someone okay 
Scorpio, you either really have your eye on someone who has, or someone has their eye on you. Okay, and this is a direct, um, it's almost like a telepathy, telepathic communication where someone is communicating with someone across distances um, with the mind and with thought. Um, and if you find that you're thinking about this person a lot, then they are thinking about you too. It is definitely mutual, the energy. Um, and there is some kind of agreement that will be formed. Now, whether this is love or um, a, a business agreement or could be a contract or a new job, I'm not 100% sure uh, because it does look very um, well thought through and planned. So there is a plan here going forward. If this applies to you in any way, Scorpio, you are definitely going to get this together and get it off the ground. You might have lost hope about this situation or maybe the other person did, but the, the hope is not lost. And I'm talking about like the situation in general, like for example, finding a job that you feel is appreciative of you or appreciates your talents and what you can give or finding someone who treats you well and appreciates you and loves you with everything that you are and, and accepts you and you accept them. So if you felt like that, this is not going to last um, this feeling, this negative uh, kind of like ooh, feeling <laughs> is going to go away. And then um, you're going to have something that is going to take off. OK, the number eight here is significant um, and the number 11 as well. So someone could be this could be a birth date or a month uh, for you. The letters that I am getting here, there's an M for mother here as well. Um, and then there is an O in a person's name. So an O. Um, it's a bit like my name, Monty. But um, there is an, a first, in the first or second names, there are these letters anyway. It doesn't have to be the initial. Or it could be in the name of something significant connected to this union. Like, for example, if it's work or business, it could be the company or that you're going to work for or so on all right or even the place that it's you know it, this is about to occur but whatever it is just know that destiny is at work god is on your side um there's a very big cross here that i'm seeing and this is usually the meaning for me is destiny okay and again i'm getting the number eight and number 11 so congratulations to you in advance scorpio this is fabulous this is fabulous. And and because of this, there's even if it's just a love connection, I know money isn't that important when it comes to love. And love has to always come first. But um, it's just very, it looks very good for both parties that are involved. Very lucrative financially. So it could be that you're getting together with someone and like starting to do something really nice and uh, some kind of business or... Or, or work and and it will go really well you know um, and you're going to make a lot of money from it but in any in any case um please take what resonates and if this applies to you you have won the gold cup the first place so congratulations to you again okay so let's see about your questions now so these will be three questions let's ask the first question and i will be Looking for the answers from spirit for you. Please ask the question. It has to be a yes or no question about anything. Okay, question number one. Huge yes. Huge yes. Um, now, this is also a destined connection, divinely guided. Um, here there is a soulmate connection, but there is also a twin flame. And I feel like someone might, you might have to make a choice, uh, um, or someone is trying to make a choice between two people and one of them is a soulmate, one of them is a twin flame. Um, and, and you're not really sure. The connection is definitely stronger and more auspicious for the, for the soulmate. Okay, 
twin flame i feel there's distance or some things maybe didn't happen for a while nothing happened for a while maybe that connection kind of slowed down but you do have a big yes if whatever you've asked for if you desire the twin flame it's absolutely up to you if you desire the twin flame then that's it the answer is yes if you desire the soulmate the answer is also yes um and past present and future in any case the answer is yes 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 okay <laughs> so that's the first question let's see about the second question you're doing really well scorpio i'm proud of you this looks like you know all of this reading is like all of the work has been done and now it's just time to reap the rewards okay second question now about anything wow someone one of you guys has manifested a soulmate connection into existence and this connection is fantastic the answer is yes this is definitely happening okay and um your prayers it's prayers or manifestations whatever you've done you did um and whatever you were thinking of it's coming into you know you've brought it into existence you've brought it into this uh, plane of existence and this is literally the most beautiful soulmate connection i have seen for a while There is this you, Scorpio, and then there's this other person, and it's just so harmonious. And things are just flowing. You are very sure about this person, and so are they about you. Um, you lift this person up. Whatever you do, you lift this person up. They feel so much better when they're around you, Scorpio. The number two is significant here. So if this is someone, it could be significant in any way. It's a very vague um, thing, these numbers, but they could be like something interesting has happened on the second, on the second or, or the 12th or will happen in any day with a two in it. Okay, 20th, 22nd. Um, and it could be, it could also mean that this is the year that is, this is supposed to happen. 2022. 2022 is the love year. Me and my friends, we all say that 2022 is the love year. The other readings that I know from my family and my friends. Um, there's a lot of love uh, connections that are happening in 2022. And they're beautiful. They're so beautiful because they're divinely guided. They're coming down from heaven, literally. And um, a lot of people are going to find them healing and find that this is exactly what they need. Um it's just so beautiful and someone i'm telling you you have manifested this connection and they're not even letting me see any letters it could be a collective thing that you all your scorpios be manifesting like crazy and nobody's been <laughs> paying attention but you've brought it into existence so congratulations to you scorpio please let me know in the comments if this resonates and please subscribe share and um please you guys uh, like the video this helps the video the channel grow and the videos go forward and it motivates me a lot so that i can give you guys more and do more readings there's going to be a link in the description for where you guys need to contact me if you need any private readings um i do private readings i do cards i do shells and i do without so um and i cover anything health wealth love um all of these things so if you guys feel like you need a private reading then just, just don't hesitate to contact me and i will book you in even if you're in another country we'll work it out okay i'm in the uk but even if wherever you are we will work it out okay so um i love you all sending you all a big virtual hug and may you be blessed always with wealth health love and happiness divine and eternal Whatever you touch may turn into gold, Scorpio. 
and hearts, of course. Thank you so much for coming here. I'll speak to you guys soon.